Hi, this is Paul, Alpha Alpha One Seer Uniform, and this is part two of my recapping and alignment of my Halocrafters S120 shortwave receiver. Uh, it's been a while since uh, part one. Part one was in May of 2020, and right now it's January of 2021. Uh, I took a break from it uh, when I had the hum. I did some research on the hum and finally uh, came up with a solution. Uh, I also wanted to show some differences between this radio and my parts radio. Um, first thing I notice is that the parts radio, here I'll back up so you can see that, see the two of them. The parts radio has a cup plate which has various components in it mentioned in the uh, schematic. Just It'll just say an asterisk and said this is part of the uh, cup plate. And my radio doesn't have it. Apparently it's been replaced with discrete components. There's a new resistor here. And this uh, capacitor came in the kit. And when, it, when I got the instructions, it said some radios may or may not use this capacitor. So, and there's some other components down there that are probably new. The other, one of the other differences is uh, there's a resistor in the schematic going across the antenna terminals. And on mine, it doesn't have it. And I'm not sure why, and I think it'd probably be all right without it. Uh, one other new thing is there's possible new capacitors here in the tuning coil. See these nice shiny brown capacitors? There's three of them here. And on the parts radio, there are these silver barrel type capacitors. So those look like they may have been replaced, I'm not sure. Um, one of the things I did was replace the speaker with one from the Lafayette HE40, uh, the other parts radio I have. This is what the speaker looks like that come out of the, uh, the S120s. The uh, Lafayette did not have the uh, audio transformer uh, attached to the uh, speaker. Uh, it was in there separately. So I mounted it here and I put the uh, speaker there from the Lafayette. It looks and sounds a lot better. Um, I also moved the neutral from the line cord from here on the switch, the on off switch, to where am I? Here at the B minus. And that cut down on the hum a lot. It didn't all go away, but uh, a lot of it went away. It's much quieter now. Uh, while I was moving it, I, I touched it there and just let it hang there. I wanted to make sure this was going to work. And uh, I applied power and smoke came out of somewhere. I think it was out of this tube socket. I must have bumped something when I was. Uh, stressing it out to pull on there and uh, I had to change the tube out so now that tube does not say Halocrafters on it it uh, says Philco on it I think so those are some differences I noticed and some differences I've made uh, between the two radios so now I'm gonna move on to the alignment okay now I'm ready to do the IF alignment and I got three pieces of equipment to help me out here. I have a signal generator. It's a BNK model 2050. And since not, that's not on uh, always exactly accurate, I have a frequency counter set to 455 kilohertz. We're pretty close. And I have an oscilloscope to uh, monitor. So the gray cable is going to the signal generator and this black cable is going to the radio. So I have, let's see, it says use an amplitude modulated generator covering 455 kilohertz. Maybe it'll come out here. I got one of the lights turned off so you can see the scope and everything. Connect the output meter across the speaker voice coil. Use this, uh, let's see, set the BFO control to off, volume control to maximum clockwise, which I won't be doing. Receive, uh, standby switch to receive, and the band spread control to 100. Um, put the high side through a 0 0.01 microfarad capacitor to stator plates at the rear of the tuning capacitor. So here I have a capacitor, and that's going through this white lead to the rear of the tuning capacitor. The other end of it is grounded. Uh, set the uh, frequency generator to 455 kilohertz. Band, sele uh, band selector to 1 and receiver dial to 1 megahertz. So I got the band to 1 and this is to 1 megahertz. 
I got the volume all the way down. I'll turn it up. You can see it's jumping around a little bit right now. So the ones we're going to adjust for maximum smoke uh, is A, B, C, and D. This is A and the bottom of it is B. This is C and the bottom of it is D. So I'm going to have to turn the radio on its side to do this. I'll uh, find my tool. I'll, I'll start it like this and then, then I may have to stop the camera for a minute. So I'm going to put that in there and tune this for maximum maximum deflection there and then I'm gonna now I'm going to the next one okay I'll stop the camera for a second okay so at the bottom the things I'm gonna adjust now is this one here that's the bottom of that coil and down there that's the bottom of the uh, other coil um, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, let's see I can do this I'll do this and point the camera at the scope. Turn it up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to the next one. Oh, look at that. So I'm going to uh, turn off the camera and go back and uh, do that a few more times. Uh, and turn the, uh, I'm going to turn the uh, signal rate generator power down a little bit each time and uh, keep doing it. But it's hard to hold the camera and do that. Okay, I turned the signal generator down quite a bit and made some more adjustments. And when the signal generator goes down, the frequency counter uh, can't even get a, a reading off of it. But we know that it was at 455. And then here's the uh, oscilloscope showing nice and strong signal. Uh, now I'm going to move on to the alignment of the RF. And to input into the antenna, it says to build this uh, dummy antenna here, which I didn't know how to build until I saw a guy build one for a DX, realistic DX160. I built one for that, and then he applied it to this. And this is hit here. I won't go into great detail, but there's a 20 micro Henry choke. There's a resistor, there's a couple of capacitors. And then uh, this thing goes onto the antenna. So you run the signal generator in through here, and then you follow the instructions on here which I will be doing momentarily. Okay, I'm gonna go through the next steps in the uh, alignment procedure. You'll see number two there it says, hook up to the uh, dummy antenna, set the frequency counter to 1400, set the radio to 1400, and adjust C1 and C24 for maximum uh, output, as in step one. And then there's gonna be all these other steps uh, which I will probably have to do off camera. So, this is C1, and this is C24. Let me go ahead and do this one. I was just playing that with that a minute ago. It didn't make much difference, but this one did. Right now I'm just doing it by sound, but I also have the oscilloscope on. There, that sounds a lot better. Let me turn it up a little. Turn off the, one of the lights. You can see that on there. Oh, and the uh, frequency counter is on 1400. Let me turn down the power a little bit. We'll look at that thing jump. Maybe we'll just turn down the volume a little bit. Oh, it looks much happier. So I'll adjust uh, C24 again. C1 again. Well, it's gonna be hard to do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the camera down and I'll go through the uh, uh, other adjustments.
Well, that's WWV on 20 megahertz, which is right here. It's uh, not directly over the white line, but it's really close. It turned out the uh, bands <clears throat> were all off quite a bit. But uh did the alignment, and it's uh, working very well now. Now it's day daytime, and I'm picking up WWV on 20 megahertz. The uh, alignment tool for uh, some of the, uh, where is it? Here it is. Uh, adjustments was this uh, six-sided uh, barrel at the end of this plastic one. That's what uh, these were here. All these little round ones there down inside were uh, kind of an octagon uh, shape thing. But uh, it's all lined, working much better. And i uh, going to put the uh, cabinet back on it, put the feet back on it, and uh, give it another try. Here, we'll just go through, through it a little bit here. I was picking up quite a bit of stuff before. I'll see if I can pick it up now. I should have used the tripod, but I'm not. Oh, there's a little bit of something there. That's what I get for going up in the van. I should have gone down. I was picking up stuff there earlier. A lot of times if you get to a cluster of stations, you tune just above it. And then use the uh, band spread to work your way down through them. Like this. Going down with the band spread again. A little something there. And sometimes I just leave the band spread at 50, that way when I come across something I'll go rock it back and forth to see what I can pick up. short wave there. something there. Go to band three. Let's see what we can pick up. Last night I got a Radio Havana Cuba right on 6.0. That was dead on. Pick up a little earlier, I had some uh, 40 meters. Uh... Hang on a minute. What's that? Bring this scale back up here. I pick up some 40 meters FT8 here. Just want to make sure it's where it's supposed to be. CW and then we'll work our way up to uh, FT8, I think. Uh, Sounds 
sounds better with the VFO off. Left the eight. Heard something there. We're not looking for Christ to come this year, but we are preparing ourselves. So, it's working pretty good. And the low bands were working well last night. I'm going to stop here for a minute. Next, did I somehow gain some wisdom and insight from before a paper until after a paper? No. The only thing it taught me is that anybody who wants to earn a piece. All right, this is the finished project. I've replaced all the capacitors. I've done the alignment twice. I wasn't happy with the alignment the first time so I redid it and uh, it's still not dead on uh, accurate but uh, for a radio this age it's uh, very close um, I put the cabinet back on it I put the feet back on it the cabinet is uh, in really good shape as you can see there's a little tiny scratch on the top and a uh, little tiny scratch right there a little tiny scratch right there it's hard to see but uh, came out good Kind of proud of it for uh, an old radio. It's on 13845 right now. I figured that was another radio, and it looks like it's on 1400. People that I happen to know. But and I've seen from that's going to have to do. So that's my Helicrafters well, S120 shortwave receiver alignment project.